Happy Friday, folks. Hopefully you guys had a, a good Thanksgiving yesterday. Besides the Lions game, spend it with the family, hang out, eat some turkey. I know we got a ton of turkey left. And after I'm doing my work today, I am going to make a big meal with turkey and gravy uh, and stuffing. So I'm super excited. I love eating after Thanksgiving, even while it's Thanksgiving as well. So I'm super excited for that. Let's get my eat on. Um, let's talk about some... You know, uh, players who are, are training up and players who are training down. And just kind of a little talk about what is going on here because this is a, this has been a tale of two teams. And the last couple of weeks is very odd. And I people have been asking me, you know, what is going on with the Lions? I honestly, I don't know. I have no idea what is going on because the mis- first off, we could always say the defense, right? We know what's going on there. But when it comes to this offense and miscommunication between Goff and his receivers, weird play calls by Ben Johnson, Jared Goff looking like a shell of himself, and the offensive line imploded this last game. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if these players are burnt out. If, you know, they, they're they losing a little mojo or something, but... What we've seen specifically in the last two weeks with the offense and how how off they look, I couldn't tell you because you, you'd assume for a couple years, right, you're in the same system. These Most of these players should know exactly what the plays are. Jared Goff should know what the play is. I mean, come on, you've been doing this. And then the last two weeks, it's just like it's not there. Like Just complete miscommunication. Um First off, we're going to start with Ben Johnson and everything King made a, a good post on Twitter. We, we we do rip on Aaron Glenn as he should be ripped, but we need to uh, point our finger at Ben Johnson as well because there has been some questionable play calling. That third and one with the, the weird play to Amon Ross St. Brown. And, and yesterday, I don't know what has been more than, than I've seen as the five wide. It's just not working. Uh Lack of protection. Knowing that Taylor Decker was struggling yesterday because he was struggling big time. Soresdale struggled. Even Penny Sewell struggled. Not as bad as Taylor Decker. He was he was awful. But the lack of kind of switching it up a little bit. It's like, okay, this is not working. Let's go ahead and do something different. And that wasn't happening. Now, I know Ben Johnson did try to protect Jared Goff initially, and that was the right call by running the football. Once the points were starting to get out of hand, you kind of had to get away from that. And I totally get it. I'm not going to even blame him for that, right? Um, You have to at that point. When you're consistently down and down by a couple touchdowns, okay, you do got to pass a little bit more. But we need to rely on play action the most. And the, going five wide, it just it wasn't working. It wasn't working, and some of these play calls is not working. So I have a little more confidence that Ben Johnson can turn this around because he has shown that he can. I mean, the offense has been pretty good for two and a half years, right? So it's there's more sample size to say, okay, I think this can turn around from a schematic standpoint. Now, for the offensive line, they played terrible. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that this was just a terrible game and they can come back and do well going forward because this offensive line has done great up to this point yesterday. I'm losing the benefit of doubt of Jared Goff. I gave him the benefit of the doubt of the Chicago game. I said, you know, he's not going to do that again, but he did. Now, it's not interceptions. It was fumbles. He's got to be more aware that okay, this offensive line's failing me today. I can't just stand here. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get rid of this ball quick. And I'm gonna. We're, we're just gonna have to do some quick passes here. He he was not doing that. He's holding the ball a little bit too long, and then he tried scrambling, which we all know that's not his strong point. He knows that, and he's just looked off. He's looked off. Now, I, I, there's conspiracy theories out there for why Jared Goff is off. I haven't heard a legit on any of this stuff. Um, some people say point shaving, I think, is ridiculous. Uh, you know, his wife or his, his soon-to-be girlfriend or whatever wife could be not giving him some or, or he's leaving. That 
I don't know. I don't know his personal life. Um, I have no idea. Some people say, man, it's a contract. I don't know. There's, there's no, I'm telling you, I have not heard anything af- affirmative on any of this. I, I know there's, there's just, there are theories out there. I'm not saying that any of it's true because I don't know. I have no idea. But all I know is Jared Goff needs to get better here. Like, he's got to play better. And it was not all his fault. Yes, this offensive line did not do him any, any good yesterday. I think a lot of that, he, he feels the pressure, in my opinion, and he gets a little bit nervous. I think that's probably what it is. And, you know, with that said, look, he's had a good slate up to the last two weeks. He's had a good slate. I know we haven't played good as a team probably for five weeks, but, you know, obviously the Lions offense did great for the Chargers. They did. Um, they, sh- they showed that they can be elite, right? We, we know this. With that said, he's got to play better. He's got to be more aware. We can't turn the football over, and he knows this. We know this. And hopefully they can get this funk out. Maybe it's just a funk. You know, I remember when uh, – I, I, I love when Jared Goff said this. He said this before the season start. He said this multiple times. It's in press conference probably during training camp or before. He's like, there's going to be a time where we're going to go through a funk, and it's going to happen. Maybe we lose a couple games in a row. We're just going to have to dig ourselves out. And that's what we're seeing right now. There's a funk right now, and they got to dig themselves out. I, I feel confident that Goff can, you know, step, step up and st- start to take care of business if the offensive line is there. But, yeah, he's not played good in the last two games. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So we'll see. Am I concerned? Yes, I'm concerned. But we'll see. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the offense there. Just off. Special teams has been off as well. Really, generally speaking, we have good special teams, but missed extra point. And going for it on fourth down, I think, was it. Generally, I, I don't mind it, right? But in this game, we were getting dominated to the line of scrimmage, and it's been happening all game. What makes you think that you know, Jalen Reeves Maven's going to be able to gain five yards on the ground. I mean, we were having, uh, David Montgomery was having some issues getting, you know, four yards. So what makes you think? I think that was a terrible decision. I didn't like it when it happened. And we we're only nine points down. I didn't like that. Um, so that's that's coaching there. And I am 100% con, uh, convinced that Dan Campbell will make the better decision next time. Uh, this was a terrible coach game by him, but he's shown that he can bounce back. I'm 100% convinced that will get taken care of. He's a guy that tends to learn from his lessons, and this was just a, a bad game. Fourth downs. I, fu- I felt like, though, a lot of these fourth downs, they should have went for it, and I just thought some of these play calls were really bad, and that was by Ben Johnson. Um, I do believe that. Defense, man, look, this is different. Now, a lot of people say, well, they only, you know, the Packers only scored nine points. First off, they're playing really conservative after that. Um, Secondly, this defense has played bad now. A lot. A lot. And if you're watching the game and you see how far back these corners were playing, they're playing very soft. The four-man rush is not doing it. It's not all Aaron Glenn's fault because this this defensive line, I'm going to say it right now, for pass rush, not run stuff. I think they're good run stuffing. Pass rush, they're, they're terrible. This this may be the worst pass rush that I've seen as a Detroit Lions fan. They just cannot get to the quarterback. And it, the Jordan Love was just sitting there. It was awful. It was awful. And Dan Campbell. Brad Holmes, this is coming on you guys. You need to get you need to get talent in this defensive line and stop pushing it. Stop delaying this. This free agency in this draft, I want to see the defensive line completely revamped. Beside and Ada Hutchinson's got to get better, but I don't want to. I'm tired of seeing Charles Harris, Romeo Aquara, Julian Aquara. John Kaminsky's been playing bad. He's not been playing good. Joshua Pascal's not doing enough. You need to revamp it. 
I know this is year three of the rebuild. But you know, if you do not get pass rush, and you do not get players on this defense, and I'm not just talking, for, they need to go into this draft. I want to see pass rush, pass rush, cornerback. That needs to be addressed. That needs to be addressed, even defensive tackle. They got to do this. Both free agency and the draft. It's time to revamp this thing. It's time to revamp this defense. Okay. Cornerback, look, I'm not upset at Jerry Jacobs for getting smoked. We know what he is. He's not really a number two. He got put in that thanks to Emmanuel Mosley. But Aaron Glenn, what is going on here, man? Why are you putting him on the on number ones? This is now, this he was on Keenan Allen quite a bit. He was on Christian Watson. Aaron Glenn, I'm absolutely done with watching this defense. And I, it, for me personally, I'm done with it. I know a lot of people say, no, don't talk about it. Don't talk about Aaron Glenn, Aaron Glenn. I'm, I'm done, man. Like, this has got, this is now three years of this. I've had enough. If you look at the Minnesota Vikings, they had a terrible defense last year. Booty cheeks. It was the worst defense in football. Now they're one of the better defenses in the NFL. They got a defensive coordinator. It's not that the fact that the talent was greatly upgraded. They got a guy who put players in positions to succeed. And right now, Isaiah Bugs, I heard, it, it, it is it grumbling. You have Kirby Joseph out there grumbling. And the, the Rock Dot Podcast did the video from his stands. Uh, gig credit to him. You got to check the video out. There's something going on here, and the, the connection is not working, okay? And if if Aaron Glenn, in my opinion, if it's this trend continues, right, this trend continues all the way into the last game this season, and it's the same stuff, and they don't get a different defensive coordinator, or they don't do something different, we got to point fingers at Dan Campbell for to allow this to occur because we fired Anthony Lynn year one. It was the right decision, and this offense got better. Okay, it's time to do this with the defense. You you cannot come into year four with the same type of defense that's just, it's just not working. Um, trending up, we got to talk. Uh, trending up, Jameson Williams. Doing really good. He's training up, and I've been telling people just just be patient with him. And now it's the fruits of labor is coming through, so that's good for him from a personal standpoint. But this is bad, man. Hopefully, they can they can wake up. And I I gotta say I know this sounds crazy, and, and kill me in the comment section if you would like. I'm excited that they're they're going to be on the road for four out of the five games. They need to get out of here. They need to go to a different environment. I feel like they play more competitive away as of late than they do at the ho- at, at home. I know that sounds crazy, but maybe they need to have lo- people yelling at them like f- other fan bases and giving a little bit of motivation, not a lot of love, you know what I'm saying? And so maybe going to New Orleans and then going to Chicago, that will put a boot in them. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. But offensive line, trending down. Jared Goff, trending down. Uh, Jamison Williams, trending up. Laporta, same Laporta, same with St. Brown. We know we get from him. It's greatness. He's a competitor. Defensive line, trending down to the gutter. Just terrible. Um Linebacker is not too bad. Alex Anzalone, he dinged up his hand. He's been doing really good. You know, you're, you're going to have that from, from Jack Campbell. He's going to go up. He's going to go down. He's a rookie. Secondary, trending down. Trending down. Aaron Glenn, trending down. Ben Johnson, trend down. Dan Campbell, trend down. So they, they got to fix this. They got, what, nine more days till a game or whatever it is. Relax. Rest up, whatever. Get this funk out of you. Do an exorcism. I don't know, but uh, you got to go to New Orleans. You got to get a win. It's a must-win game, New Orleans. It's a must-win game. Um, With that said, folks, 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Adios.